This is a video by Richpin. Today we're working on a Buick LeSabre. This happens to be a 1989 model, but what we're doing today will pertain to the newer ones also. Uh, this vehicle, the heater blower, is not working. So we've got to get in there and find out what the problem is. First thing we want to do is turn the key to the run position until we see our dash lights illuminate. Then we want to make sure that our heater control is on heater. And what that will do is that will send the voltage out through our switch to our blower motor. So now we can go over there and test it at the blower motor and see if we have voltage. Now we have our multimeter down by the blower motor. So let's turn it to DC voltage. Black wire is to ground. Remove our electrical connector from the motor. Red lead. We want to go to the purple wire on this car. Black wire is ground. Purple is live. And we should see about 12 volts there. Aha! That's good. So we have voltage. Now, let's double check the ground. Let's go to our ohms setting. Alright, now we'll check the black wire and it should read zero if our ground is good. Beautiful. Right there, what that tells us is that that motor is no good. We have voltage, we have ground, the motor isn't working. That's what the problem is. Alright, so let's change it out. Now to remove the motor, first we gotta take this little vent tube out of the way. And we got this O2 wire. Now we got to remove these seven millimeter headed bolts that secure the motor to the housing, and there's five of them. So we got to do that right now. Here's the last screw. Oh, you have to pry it out. Okay. All right. Not too bad. Well, let's go get our one new motor. We'll have to uh, swap over the fan most likely. All right, now we got to get the fan off of the old motor because there will be none on the new one. There is a 10 millimeter nut here. So we got to remove that. And of course it's going to be tight. Actually, I took, should take a metal hammer. Who cares if we bugger up the piece on it? We ain't going to be using this motor, but there it is. All off. Now, what we'll do is we'll check the dimensions on this new one here and make sure it's correct before we go any further. Alright, dimension looks good. 
take this little piece off there. We're not going to use the small nut they supplied. We're going to use the one off the old one because it's, it's the same pitch. Tighten against the plastic good. She's good to go. Let's put it in. Okay, let's get the rust up in there and tighten it up. We got all five seven millimeter headed bolts tightened. Put our O2 sensor back in the clip. Put the vent tube in place and plugged our connector back. And now it's time to see if it works. like the sound of a pot firing up for the first time because you know you got it. Not a lot of vibration in this motor. Pretty good for an aftermarket one. Excellent. So, that's all there is to diagnosing and replacing a blower motor on your Buick LeSabre.